A passionate football supporter has been evicted from a game after protesting plans for a Crows reserve side to join the SANFL. The man was holding a banner when he was grabbed by police who threatened to lock up a person filming the ordeal. It's not often an off-field drama takes attention from a final quarter, but that's what happened on Saturday afternoon. Look at the cop. The cop grabbed him. Central District supporter Gary McGill escorted from Elizabeth Oval his banner in the arms of security. Hey, I'm giving it back here, all right? So don't worry, I'm giving it back to you. The man with the camera threatened as he continues rolling. All right, you're evicted too. No, you can't do that. I know the laws. See, so slaughter or you get locked it's, up. It's in the end, no one was arrested, but Gary went home with these bruises. A bit over the top, a bit over the top. We were in the process of taking, putting the banner down on the ground and starting to fold it up, and obviously I wasn't doing it quick enough. Police say they were following directions from Weslow Security, which wanted the banner removed. It's just a banner displaying a simple message that we all believe in. So why did this banner cause such a stir? Well, the SNFL says it was all just a misunderstanding. It turns out someone failed to tell security that the banner is banned from the playing surface but not from the stands. Weslow must have misinterpreted on the ground to be within the grounds. A mistake Gary will find hard to forgive. Ben Avery, Nine News.